So what's your, what's your take on how to build a session? We built one before, right? Yes. I think the most important thing uh, if you're going to build a search engine is to have a really good fun corpus to start out with. Uh, in our case, we used the World Wide Web, uh, which at the time was significantly smaller than it was today. But it was also very new and exciting. There were all sorts of unexpected things there. So the goal for the first three units of the course is to build that corpus. And we want to build a corpus for our search engine by crawling the web. And that's what a web crawler does. What a web crawler is, is a program that collects content from the web. If you think of a web page that you see in your browser, you have a page like this. And we'll, we'll use the Udacity site as an example web page. So it's got lots of content. It's got some images. It's got some text. All of this comes into your browser when you request the page. The important thing that it has is links. And what a link is, is something that goes to another page. So we have a link to the Frequently Asked Questions. We have a link to the CS101 page. There's some other links on the page. And that link may show up in your browser with an underscore. It may not, depending on how your browser is set. But the important thing that it does is it's a pointer to some other web page. And those other web pages may also have links. So we have another link on this page. Maybe it's to my, my name. You can follow to my home page. And all the pages that we can find with our web crawler are found by following the links. So that won't necessarily find every page on the web. If we start with a good seed page, we'll find lots of pages, though. And what the crawler is going to do is start with one page, find all the links on that page, follow them to find other pages. And then on those other pages, it will follow the links on those pages to find other pages. And there'll be lots more links on those pages. And eventually, we'll have a collection of lots of pages on the web. So that's what we want to do to build a web crawler. We want to find some way to start from one seed page, extract the links on that page, follow those links to other pages, then collect the links on those other pages, follow them, collect all that. So that sounds like a lot to do. We're not going to do that all this first class. What we're going to do in this first unit is just extract a link. So we're going to start with a bunch of text. It's going to have a link in it with a URL. What we want to find is that URL so we can request the next page. The goal for the second unit is to be able to keep going. If there's many links on one page, we want to be able to find them all. So that's what we'll do in unit two is figure out a way to keep going to extract all those links. In unit three, well, we want to go beyond just one page. So by the end of unit two, we can print out all the links on one page. For unit three, we want to collect all those links so we can keep going, end up following our crawl to collect many, many pages. So by the end of unit three, we'll have built a web crawler. We'll have a way of building our corpus. Then the remaining three units will look at how to actually respond to queries. So in unit four, we'll figure out how to give a good response. So if you search for a keyword, you want to get a response that's a list of the pages where that keyword ap appears. And we'll figure out in unit five a way to do that that scales if we have a large corpus. And then in unit six, what we want to do is, well, we don't want to just find a list. We want to find the best one. So we'll figure out how to rank all the pages where that keyword appears. So we're getting a little ahead of ourselves now, because all we're going to do for unit one is to figure out how to extract a link from the page. And the search engine that we'll build at the end of this will be a functional search engine. It will have the main components that a search engine like Google has. It certainly won't be as powerful as Google will be. We want to keep things simple. We want to have a small amount of code to write. And we should remember that our real goal is, is not so much to build a search engine, but to use the goal of building a search engine as a vehicle for learning about computer science and learning about programming. So the things that we learn by doing this will allow us to solve lots and lots of other problems.